on uh, my current clutches that I have out. I don't think I did any videos on these. I did show you guys the twins, which or the two-headed dragons, which came from these clutches here. But I didn't show you their updates, so... And I had a good friend of mine ask me to show these guys a little more. So, I'm going to show you the three clutches that are ready. Right, well, no, I'm sorry, three. The two clutches that are ready. I say three because they're separated in three different bins. But, um... They'll be separated more, but for now they're in three. These are my new guys. I'm going to show you guys if they don't run off oh, like they always do. Come here, Papa. Oh, here's Tux. The, the cat that loves to be in every show. Here they are. This guy here has had a lot of people looking at him. He's finally in shed. I mean, full body shed. Look at that beautiful dark color on the tail. I'm just going to show you that's going to be a nice deep red baby. This guy's the healthiest eater too. He's been like scarfing down food. If I can focus. I guess I can't. But um, yeah, he's a big eater. I'll put him up here. There he goes. My favorite guy. He's always skittish and never likes me to touch him. Um. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? That's him right here, I think. Yeah. Come here. I call him Casper, because he's a translucent. But this guy here is like deep, 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 deep red. I know the camera's not picking up the color at all, but man, if you could see him in reality, in like real color, like real time, his color is insane. He is just bad. -ass. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm thinking about keeping him if I don't get another female that's going to be his color because, like I said, his color is very rich, very saturated. His tail's in shed. But, man, like I said, the camera's really not telling you guys or showing you guys really what he looks like because he looks amazing. I'm going to put him down. <clears throat> Over here, these are also siblings to those. These are just the, uh, the head transes. Double heads, we call them, because they're head hypo. Some of them are head hypo, some head trans, some of them are just hypo head transes, but they all are 100% head trans because Torch is a visible trans. I'll show you guys this little one right here. He's gorgeous. Colors are just phenomenal, and the quality of the leather in him. Oh, that was not good. Come here. Yeah, let's go. They're being very mean right now, so I don't know what's going on. Come here, guys. There we go. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at those deep colors. Mm -hmm. And these guys are only like two, three weeks old. Yeah, three weeks old. So they're looking really good. Deep, deep colors. Beautiful little guys. This one right here is like the uh, beast of the clutch. He's like already two times the size of most of his little clutch mates. In full body shed as well. Look at the tail. It's gonna be a very beautiful animal. Another one over here. Like, it would stop running. Look at, Look at these guys. They're so awesome. And bright red. Oh. I'd like to ride the elephant ride. Very beautiful. And now this is clutch number two. These are the ones that just hatched, um, i say about three days ago. I still have like three more in the incubator that are gonna come out in a couple hours or maybe later on today. But these see, like I said, these are a couple days old. Look at that belly. Already look like a fat dragon and they're only like three days old. And that's because I feed a lot. <laughs> I mean, from day one I feed. Come here, boy. You know, wake up. And then, uh, that's one of the twins. I'm kind of, like, concerned because the twins are very tiny. And it's like, I'm thinking, like, what kind of feeder could they eat? Because this is the other twin, and he's substantially smaller. I mean, he's alive, he's fine. I'll show you some movement. See? He's just very tired and weak from the hatching stage and everything. And this is his twin brother. They both were in the same egg. But you can see these guys. These are week old ones. You can see the crickets in the back. I feed half inch crickets to these guys because they could take that down with no problem. I've already fed them multiple times with this, so I know they can. <laughs> I do love how they look when they're in their crates. 
know, you get these little pockets and they just sit there and look at you. Kind of like they get their own personal rock each. Now, see, and this also helps them. The reason why I put that crate, so if they don't want to be out in the open, what they'll do is they'll hide underneath. <laughs> yeah. And what's good is that while they're underneath there, this is going to keep warm. So they'll be really like, kind of like baking in there, but not being exposed directly to the UV or the, the basking bulb. But yeah, the guys are doing good. <clears throat> That's just a quick video. I'm sorry about the little bitty poops everywhere, but I just got home and figured I'd do this video real fast. The babies are doing great. They're so massive. <laughs> For three weeks old, they're already really big. I can't wait. I know plenty of my friends on Facebook can't wait either, so soon they'll all be ready to go. And uh, I'll share you guys with everybody else. Look at these oh. oh, look at them. So bright. So saturated. So careful without them freaking out. Come on. Oh, 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 oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 no way. That's deep. That's some deep red right there. And the big bellies. Deep color. Gorgeous baby. Gorgeous, gorgeous baby. You proud, Bubble? You should be. You're a weeby baby. And that's them, guys. See? I mean, a lot of people ask me why my babies are so calm when I send them to them. It's because I try to handle them as much as possible. So that way, when they get to their new owners, they're used to being held. And when you try to put them down, they don't want to let go. See? Come on, buddy. Get down. He's like, no, I want to go with you, daddy. No, you got to go down. <laughs> Come on. Don't be difficult. Arr. I love when they open up their mouths and purge. Come on, puppy. Oh, see, he doesn't want to come down. So I got to bring it out here. There we go. Ah, that's my boy. So that's the guys. That's the new babies. They're all doing great. I'll do a feeding video once they're more aggressive eating. They eat, but they don't eat like... It's weird. I mean, they grow fast, they're eating well, but they eat at their own pace. These guys here are not like, you dump 50 crickets in there and 50 crickets are gone. These guys, you dump 50 crickets in, you come home, they're all gone. <laughs> it's my porch. My porch. Look at him. So beautiful. This is why I breed, guys. I get to wake up every morning and take care of these guys and love on them and make more beautiful ones like them. This is awesome. This is awesome to wake up to every day. See these guys in the morning. Watch them grow and thrive and prosper. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll do more updates as they get bigger. Bye.